Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, we're going to be talking about all seven of the abilities in Partners in Time and ranking them. And yes, there is seven. Now obviously you got the six, the two that you have, the baby, the two that you have with Mario and Luigi, and then the two that you can combine them with. But then there's the water spit ability that you can do with baby Mario, so that's what I'm making it seven with. But there's no other rules, to be honest, You'll see how I rank these. It was actually pretty hard to rank some of these, but I think there was definitely a divide between fun and bad. So that's how I basically ranked them. And other than that, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I mean, let's just, let's just get into it. The Water Spit ability only has one thing over every single ability on this list, and that is that it doesn't have a mundane tutorial to teach it to you. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty underused, and that's definitely why it sinks it down all the way to number 7. And the other thing is that you can't do it on the fly, which obviously makes sense, you don't just don't have a water bottle that's on you to fill a baby up that much. But the only thing that you can actually do with this ability, I can actually think of on top of my head, is put out fires in Yoshi's Island and destroy UFOs in Yoop's belly. But other than that, it's non-existent in this game, which sucks. I feel like they could have done way more stuff with it, so there was no way this wasn't going to be number 7. If you didn't know, there will be a lot of Toadsworth in this video. The Ball Squish ability is something that's very much like the Water Spit ability, where it's just not used. Which, I guess in this scenario it makes sense, because there's not a lot that you can actually do with this. All you can do is really shrink them, but you already have the Baby Drill, so it's pretty useless with that. As well as, I mean, the only thing that it's really used in a Dwarf Volcano is to get up with the fans. So, I mean, I guess it's more fun than using the Water Spit ability, because the Water Spit ability is definitely more aggravating, because in Yves Belly trying to def destroy the UFOs, it's very hard to actually aim it. So, I guess I have more fun with this, but that's not saying much. The other thing is that this is very annoying to set up. First off, the ball rolling mechanic is pretty hard to do already, because you have to do it straight, but once you actually squish the babies, it continues rolling. So if you just roll off the mountain, which obviously in the main place you're going to be using is Thumb Volcano, so that's going to be a big possibility of that happening, it sucks because Mario and Luigi just have to traverse it on their own again, and it's so annoying. I think my one fix to this ability is that the squish time should be permanent, but there should be an undo button to get out of being squished. Because it's just very annoying when it just is gone. It's very stupid, especially in places like Star Shrine. I just realized that Star Shrine has a place to do this. So when you do it there, it's pretty bad. This is the first good ability on this list. And it's the hammer. There really isn't that much to say. If you press X, you whack stuff with it. Um, I guess it's a little underused, but other than that, my only problem with it is that you actually have to throw the babies to actually use the hammer, instead of just using it very simply, which is definitely annoying, but it's not, it's not, like, damaging. It's just so simple, and that's why it's number five, and it's not super fun to use, just... Because it's simple. It, it's just simple. That's it's just simple. That's all I gotta say. Simpleness. The baby spin solved some of the problems of the ball squish, which is always a good thing. But it didn't solve all of them since it's obviously still number four. First off, it's very simple, kind of like the hammer. But it's better than the hammer just because the simplicity actually helps a lot. Because all it does is it just boosts the babies up. It just gets them higher, which is nice. The hammer is just kind of useless in a way, so I don't like that part of it. But the main thing 
about this that it solves is that if you the bros spin into the babies, they will stop spinning. And thank God, imagine you just did a spin off the mountain, but at least the babies were up there. That'd be very stupid. And it's exactly what the ball squish does, and I don't like that. So I'm glad it solved it. But it definitely is underused, which sucks. I mean, it's only really helpful for bean collecting, and that's it. So, other than that, it's fine. It's definitely good, but it's not great. And obviously, the top three are very good. So, can't really beat it. The one, the only Toadsworth twist is number three. Now, here's the thing. It's very simple, but... The thing is, is that it's easier to use than the baby spin, and that's why it's one spot higher. And the three are very close. The thing is, is that the spin jump is pretty fun to use. It's very simple, but the only thing is that you actually have to throw the babies to actually use it. And in places like Gritzy Desert and Yoshi's Island, you don't actually have the baby spin yet, so you can't actually launch them, so it's very annoying. But other than that, it's just kind of the same complete with the hammer. So, it's pretty high and it's pretty fun to use. But, I mean, top two. They're, they're, both of them are obviously amazing. The baby drill is one of the most useful, one of the most useful, without a doubt, abilities in the game. First off, you can dig onto the ground, which is pretty good. Because you can just dig under and just avoid enemies, which is very nice. Now, the next thing is that it's the way that you get beans, which obviously beans are pretty good to get the best badges in the game. And the third thing is that not a ton of people know this, but if you dig under an enemy and then get up, it actually stuns the enemy. So if you want to like jump on it, but you're having a hard time, if you stun it, then there you go, you get that free jump in. Which that's pretty nice, it's just a fun ability to use. But it's only fun because it's useful. But it's not actually fun just because you move super slowly. Which is not a good thing at all. And you only have to use the babies for it, which obviously gets annoying because you play with four people. But, I mean, you guys all know what number one is, you guys knew that this was never gonna beat it. I've praised this before, the bros ball is just so fun to use, and it has the only mini games I can really think of in the game, and that makes it a huge deal breaker, and it just shifts the focus of the game, and it makes it way better than it is. First off, it's pretty fast, that's something else, it's one of the fastest ways to move in the game, well, I mean, with only the bros, but if if you only have the bros, then it's one of the fastest ways. Like, if I'm separated in Toe Town, I'm gonna be using the bros ball a lot, unless I'm fighting enemies. And something else is that, obviously people would say that the baby drill is definitely number one. But here's the thing. One of the things that I pointed out that makes it good that you can bury under enemies does not suit my playstyle of any Mario RPG. I like to fight every single enemy, so... It makes it limit a little bit more than it normally is for other people, so I guess that's one reason, and I mean, it's just it just makes the game more fun with the bros ball, so that's the main reason it's number one, but there, I could definitely see why people think the baby drill is number two. If you enjoyed the video and you want to suggest some more I, ranking ideas, then leave them in the comments below. I will... Uh, shout out the person that suggests the ranking today. I just came up with this idea and of course happy July 5th